closer to the site, but Cold Zera's got some crisp headshots already coming out. Despite low HP, he is sitting on three kills this pistol round, and he is first at bat with the remaining players. Rez trying to tap him down. He has one health, and yet still, he could be on for the potential ace until Olaf blows Rez away, twists, plants, and in for the 1v3. Not gonna make it happen. Nico taps his way to the win, and FaZe open with a pistol. It'll be the pistols that are probably going to be the least uh, tactically demanding, so if FaZe can pick those up, that'll be a good way to try to upset on this map that they're almost certainly not prepared at all to play on. Again, they just came uh, They just came from an event uh, unlike NIP, so they won't be quite as prepared. This is certainly gonna be a shock to them, but. But uh, yeah, definitely a good attempt. In the if Twist waits a few seconds for that smoke to come up, then turns the corner, he knows Nico maybe falls back or peaks. That's either a fight or just a free piece of map control. Cold Zera gets a kill in mid. He's going to push this to the 5v3. Now NIP could find themselves transitioning into a faster pace here. They got to get that hit going. Klopski is going to move over, but he does not get here before Cold Zera does. So even 3v3 on the A site. A little bit of a short shelf push, anticipates the peak from Rez, and then doesn't even fall off. He knows they've got the numbers oh. advantage, and he has got some pristine aim today. That is three kills for Cold Zero. Make it four. FaZe taking back their lead. They gave up five in a row, Mohan, but now they're looking a little more comfortable. My favorite part about all that is that he didn't flick once. It was nope. just all crosshair placement on, um, on Vertigo, of all places, a map they don't even practice. That was really beautiful here. Falls right into his crosshair here. Knows exactly where the head is. That's Curves it back. Oh, slight gap. Nico retreats as fast as his feet can take him. And then he sticks around because he knows he has two players to support just behind. Then, however, he gives up his position. He comes out from his commitment. And Olaf's going to have to take his place. Missing one shot and then denied. Lecro, huge space creation. And Cold Zera with what could be a crucial clutch. Final round of the half, remember. Bomb down. Doesn't push while Lecro's hands are busy, but he almost catches the player in the back. Nip will close this with the 7-8 score. It's as close as can be. But we'll have to take a break and bounce back with the second half before we see who wins map one. Brokey deep on green. Forrest and Twist just on the other side. Oh. Can't hit the quick flick. Forrest too fast. And now Cold Zera brought back behind sight. Olaf by his side. This 2 2 split works to at least get the post plant, but can Olaf use the element of surprise to deny this? Electro turns and he gives himself away. The smoke covers off that bomb, but nobody taps it, so Olaf can play time. He ducks, he dodges down, back towards ramp, sees Forrest, who now has to get on bomb. He's taken down Twist. Oh! For the third and finds it. Oh my god. Big clutch from Olaf, and the first big clutch, really, of this map. Olaf said it, Odinze, I couldn't hit a bus if I tried. Against the favor of FaZe. But they hit Twist with that molly, and the, the damage should be heard. Nico peeks around, takes damage, and even gets the kill. Now, this is an interesting one. Uh -huh. This is one of those rounds where if that flash goes off to a T, or if Twist doesn't hit the damage through the metal wall, then this would already be over. But instead, we find ourselves back into a two versus two. This is a lifeline. They have phoned in a friend, Lady Luck has given them a chance here in the 25th round. Yeah, they could have paused on the big flank because they had two on A site. If it was a 2v2, I could understand. But, uh, yeah, it's just, wow. yeah, they're just, uh, yeah. Game this, on. At this point, it's just outpatiencing them. It's Forrest who just has to run back and forth like a courier, and he's going to make it 2A in time to feasibly go for the retake, but he's got two unknowns in these Ts. Left over, one on default. That could be a kill. And an angle from Nico that's just a bit too good. 14-11 and... And understandably so, right? The newest piece to the puzzle, a lot of pressure. We saw him very much alone at that B site on the CT side. He kind of got run over. Mm -hmm. This should be a whole different beast, but let's just let them play. Forrest on the top of Palace, him and Lecro just... Oh my God! The pistol. Just taps three, blasts them back. Olaf, what are you made of? Not not much more than one. How does he get away with Look it? Look at Popsky's, uh, Popsky's uh, response there. Forrest, what was that? Yeah. Oh my god, that was crazy. And Forrest was so nice last map too. 
Oh, you gotta love the third person. Oh, dude, that's Paul beautiful. Zara's coming out. He's yeah. like, don't worry, guys, I'll trade. No, you won't. Sit. Of a hike. His calves are gonna get sore. He's gonna give up on the trail. Maybe Time will run out for Brokey. Place for the frags. I mean, the further he gets away, the further he'll have to go back. He's doubling the time. It's the last round of the half. Yeah. I mean, are you gonna get both kills? No. But he heard that. If he gets this one, sprints. Timing. Timing is the issue. The Unless he just runs to the A site and straight up goes for the frag. Oh. Forest, <gasps> get your gun out! Oh my! Whoa, Brokey. They didn't know he had the bomb. Or they didn't true. know he didn't have the bomb. Okay. Big brain Brokey. I goes guess. ahead and shuts that one down. But that's the end of the half. 10-5. That could be a cruise. Let's see how far can they reach because they're down by five rounds and Nico's already allowed Twist to cross. You'd hope that doesn't cost them too much, but he's gotten two kills because of it. Three kills because of it. Nico, now he has to come up big and he has done so, so far. Drops that bomb and they know Twist is still inside of this site. Not sure if Rez is coming to join him, but sure enough, he is out of apps now. Drops towards Van. Twist adds another frag to the tally. He's looking for the pistol round ace, looking to hammer the nail in the coffin on his own. And Rez helps out. Nico took a huge gamble by letting Twist cross. Twist makes up a massive play, and you think for a moment, for just a moment, maybe he does one better. Did Nico get blocked by Rain when he was trying to leave? I don't mean removed. Olaf trades. Now Nico's gonna start activating and Lecro has to be wary of his back, but first he wants to get this kill. First, he wants to curb the numbers. He dies and it all falls onto Twist. 1v2 from the apps with Op. Bomb planted, default hits the first one. Olaf's in the smoke, one second. Oh! And he's denied, nip. Take 14 rounds off of the smoke stab. And that's gotta feel real good. Uh, and for those of you at home who don't realize, like, that was his best play to pull out the knife in that situation. Didn't have to switch back and, and hope to hit an op shot. Was right there. 0.78 on the defuse. Yeah, he's spamming window. Yeah, he's just spamming for window. Oh, my God. And the 1v2. <laughs> that relief. That's wonderful.